Good morning, happy Thursday, and welcome back to another video. I am on my way to a coffee shop right now because I need to get out of the house to get some work done today. I'm gonna go to Fount, which is a coffee shop kind of on like the outskirts of Durham, so it's a little bit of a drive, but it's like the perfect working environment. So if I know I'm gonna be there for an hour or two, that's the one that I like to go to. done that I've been putting off so I would say that that was a productive morning I didn't send out a newsletter last week because I just couldn't really think of a good topic for one and I don't I mean like my inbox is already so crowded I don't want to just send something for the sake of sending something but I had a stroke of realization in the coffee shop and I started on this week's newsletter it's gonna be themed around things that have been making my life easier so I'm excited and I'm motivated to work on that this afternoon but on the way home, I have some returns to do. I grabbed them on my way out the door. This is filled with a bunch of random stuff. Old Navy really did me dirty. I ordered a bunch of shorts because they were on sale for $12. And I was like, wow, if these are good shorts, this is a steal. They were not good shorts. So I have five pairs of shorts to return to Old Navy. Something to return to Target. Some random stuff to return to Joann's because I was gonna replace the buttons on this cardigan that I have. I don't know why. I thought it was gonna be like a cheap project. And it was one of those things that by the time I got to the checkout and she added it all up, like I already knew I wasn't gonna, I knew I was gonna return it, but I didn't want it to like stop in the moment. So I have to go back and return these buttons because it was gonna cost like $30 to swap the buttons on a sweater like I would just buy another sweater and then the last thing is a return to Hollister it's this Gilly Hicks pleated tennis skirt it's so cute I wish it fit but it's just like the wrong proportions I think I also have a revolve return to ship off this afternoon too I want to just knock them all out today because they've been piling up That was easy enough. Just did the Hollister return. I think there's an Old Navy connected to this mall. This mall kind of freaks me out. The vibes are off. Next up is Old Navy. And finally Target. I have to get a couple things while I'm here anyways. I might get this to try out because I've heard good things. And Target's doing 20% off skincare stuff. Select skincare. I'm not actually sure what's included. But I think I'm going to go through this afternoon and see if any of my favorites are included. And then I'll post about it on my Instagram story. I've always wanted to try these. I had no idea they were a Target. I need more dish soap. We'll do this one, lavender and mint. I also need to get more sponges. Maybe I'll get the pink scotch brights. Favorite Nespresso pods that you can get and I love that they're at Target. This kind of tastes like Sprite to me. It's a new flavor and I've heard really good things about this one so I want to try this out. I also found this native deodorant on sale for $6, which is like half off. It's a Christmas scent, so I guess they probably just forgot to mark it down, but I got it because I like those deodorants. Okay, let's try the Sparkling Mandarin Marshmallow Celsius. I ended up swapping out the one I got on the end cap for one that was at the checkout, so this is like ice cold. Didn't sound very fizzy. It's good, but I think this can isn't fizzy. I mean, the flavor is great. I just like when they're really carbonated. All right, let's go home and eat some lunch. Having this chicken fried rice recipe from Side Dish, it uses the creamy sesame dressing. This was lunch yesterday, so I just reheated some leftovers. Finished lunch and got the crock pot going with the obligatory bay leaf. Not even sure what those do, but recipe called for it. So this is going to cook for, I think, three or four hours on high. But honestly, that doesn't really look right. I feel like there's supposed to be more liquid in there. We'll see how that turns out. But I checked my mail and I got something very exciting. Exciting for me because I feel like when something's sold out, I just want it more. I got Birkenstock Boston's. I ordered them on Monday from Free People. Was it Monday? Yeah, I think it was Monday. I ordered them from Free People. They're kind of more of a white. The camera isn't washing them out. That's like the actual color they are. It's like a white gray, which I kind of like because I wear a lot of white sneakers, but I'm not really sure how I feel about these. I think I'm gonna try and style them with a few outfits, but these might be going back because I put them on my feet and they just like, they don't look right. 
I don't know how to explain it. But I did get my hands on them and that's all that matters because I feel like I would always be wondering if I would want them. Oh my gosh, I thought I already seen them. These are going back in the box. I'm gonna ruin them before I even have a chance. I also got a couple of dresses for an event that I have coming up, a fancy event. I think that's what this box is. Let me open it. I really love everything that CB2, not CB2, House of CB has on their website, but the return policy is horrible, but Nordstrom carries them now. So whenever I have a desire to own anything from a House of CB, I order it from Nordstrom and I bought a House of CB dress from Nordstrom for a wedding, I think in November, December. It came, it was the wrong size, but I'm glad that I did Nordstrom because I could return it super easily. It's like $20, every dress I've noticed is like $20 more on Nordstrom than it is on their actual website, but then between like shipping and the return policy and stuff, like I think it's just so worth it to get it through Nordstrom. This is not the dress that I thought it was, but I did get a black one and a green one. I was kind of hoping this was the green one, but I don't know if I'm in the mood to try that on. I feel like I need to be in like a good, body positive mood to try on stuff like that or else I just know I'm gonna hate it and I don't think I'm in the mood. Okay, just kidding. The suspense was killing me. It's too big, so go figure. I sized up from the last one that I got and now it's too big. Maybe it's just a kind of brand you have to do like actual measurement based sizing on, which is something I never do. I can't tell if I like it enough to swap for the small. This is a medium for reference, um, but I don't know. Their sizing is kind of weird. I just have a feeling that I get the small and it wouldn't work. It's a beautiful dress. But I kind of look like a villain in a Disney movie, but I think I'm gonna wait for the green one. Maybe I'll order this small in the meantime. I don't know, I'm kind of down to the wire. Okay, gonna do some more work. I made a little snack. I had this Purely Elizabeth Vanilla Pecan, Pecan, Pecan Oatmeal in the pantry, so I just made it and added some strawberries. But this is cool, because you can microwave it, you can make it with hot water, or you can turn it into overnight oats. I just microwaved it. Hopefully it's good. I have a bag of their granola right now in the pantry too, and that's delicious, so. I have high hopes and I put a true lemon packet in my water because I've been hating drinking water lately. I wanna add some more recipes to my website, like recent recipes I've made and linked on my Instagram. I need to make sure they make it their, their way onto my website. So I'm going to find pictures that I've taken of the recipes, find the links to them, organize it all so it can get put on my website, hopefully by the end of the week, definitely by the time this video goes live. So if you've been needing more recipe inspiration, don't forget to check out my website. The recipe link is clarapurse.com slash recipes. I feel like my website is like pretty easy to navigate, but with that being said, if you have any feedback for my website now that it's been live for a couple of months, let me know because I'm always looking for ways to improve it. A friend of mine from college is actually helping me maintain my website right now. She's looking for a new job right now, so she has some time on her hands and I asked her if she would help me with some of my more like admin work. So I organize everything that I want to be done to my Pinterest, my website, and my like to know it and I just send it over to her in a big Google Drive file. This is how I organize the website updates. So I name all of the recipes, I give her all the pictures of the recipes and all of the links Links to the recipes and then I have the currently loving I told her to swap the current three for these three I add a description and a link um, the links and discount page I want to add two new pieces of furniture that I've added recently and then two lifestyle items and I give her the links for that and then all the images are in another folder and then she also helps me with Pinterest so I just sent her a bunch of my videos that I think would translate well to Pinterest and she's going to put those on there and help me with like captions and keywords. My toxic trait is that I truly love every aspect of this whole business that is social media, but there's only so many hours in the day. So I'm at this point of picking and choosing the best places to spend my time. And obviously she's not gonna be doing this for me forever, but it is taking some stuff off my plate. I do obviously still have to organize everything that needs to go on the website. So that takes some time. This is taking me a couple of hours, but then actually loading onto the website is gonna take a couple more hours. So that frees up some of my own time to go do other things like filming, or editing. Either way, I am the type of person that just like, I don't like to give up control of stuff and delegating tasks is kind of essential to just like growth in any business. But I honestly hate it because it's stuff that I all love to do and I wanna do it myself. It's not that I don't trust other people to do it, it's just that I like doing it and I wanna do it myself. Gonna finish up this recipe. All that's left is to add some coconut milk to this and there's arrowroot starch in here so it's gonna thicken it up. Smells so good. Just gonna have this over rice with some broccolini. All right, this is how it turned out. Hopefully it is as good as it smells. Dinner was great. Gonna make a quick run to Whole Foods to get a couple of ingredients that I need for the rest of the weekend. I wanna get a new candle to burn in the kitchen, but I want it to be plain packaging because I'm crazy. So apparently Zevia is getting a facelift. Not that anyone cares. 
but looks like the old branding is on sale. I think I'm gonna try cherry cola. I don't think I've had this one before. I washed off my makeup and changed it into some clothes to go to the gym. Just wearing this set active sports bra and bike short set and then this little white tank top over top. Of course, now is the time that Polly wants to come out and play, but I will play with you after the gym. The kitchen and the rest of the apartment is all clean and ready for tomorrow and I'm burning those new candles that I got tonight at Whole Foods. I ended up getting two. I got this tiny little white one for the coffee table. And then I got this one for the kitchen. Let's see, what scent did I go with? Oh, Caribbean teak one. Smells pretty good. They had a really good candle selection at Whole Foods. I'm trying to be more mindful of the wax and the candles that I'm burning. I'll be honest, I'm gonna make exceptions if they smell really good, but I was in TJ Maxx the other day and I looked at all their candles and like none of them smelled good enough to justify like a really bad wax. So Whole Foods seems like a good option. I got the new Hatch alarm clock, the Restore 2, and I love it so much. It literally makes me excited to go to bed because I'm excited to wake up to it. I'm going to save my new Loops mask for tomorrow because I just really want to go to bed right now. But I'm just going to do my nighttime skincare routine and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.